Hi, I'm so excited today at the finale of IFLA 2017 in Los Angeles. I'm sitting in the mezzanine lounge with none other than Nisha Ganatra, the actor, writer, director extraordinaire. And uh, I'm so proud of what she's uh, been doing and what she's going to do in the future. And uh, thank you for being here. You should just pan over and look at those clowns over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, I was... <laughs> they always give you a hard time. <laughs> that keeps the atmosphere very light yes, on the set. Yes, yeah, comedies are the best. And those are three amazing comedians. I mean, oh, they are. They Harvey are. Sheena, Sonal Shah, Danny Pudi. You just, you can't ask for a better group of people to make fun of you. <laughs> No, no. I was, I was so, so excited to ask you serious questions, and now the mood is. I mean, it was already after a heartwarming film. Oh, Chat, yes. Ch uh, by the way, I watched Chutney Popcorn, the very famous film, for the first time today, and it's so relevant. It's, it's just kind of a timeless piece. Uh, beautiful. So congratulations on that once again, and I'm glad you got it out here to be screened again. Yeah, so, um, so f just first of all, give us. Um, uh, once more, I know you've spoken about it in the oh panel discussion, but I'd love to know more moments that you cherish uh, of Chutney Popcorn. Uh, well, I think for me, it's just a very special movie. It was nice to watch it again. I was worried about whether it would hold up after so many years, and it was nice that people are still finding it relevant. Um, to me, it was just I wanted to tell a story with Indian American family and not have it be about like the Indian American experience and also have a gay character and have it not be about coming out. So it's just like a really um, sweet sort of family drama comedy. And um, it was nice to see that people were still interested and with the characters and laughing and crying and it was really beautiful. And it's amazing how uh, at such an early stage in your career you showed those signs of brilliance, if I may say so. Yeah. Um, you wrote it, you directed, you acted, and you kind of produced it with yes. with minimal um, budget, I believe. Um, since then, has the journey become easier or has it become tougher? I mean, and I know that's a kind of a very big question I'm asking, but I'd love to know your take on that. I mean, I think nothing's as difficult as making your first movie so that was really hard and things have definitely gotten easier it was just um, it's a lot of sort of hustle you know like being an independent filmmaker you just don't stop hustling you just have to keep pushing and pushing and pushing and I think I'm pushing just as hard for my career as I am today than I was when I was trying to make chutney popcorn I have more contacts and more resources and um, you know more stories to tell because I'm older and just have lived more life but everything is just I, I think there's a big myth of our industry that it gets easy at a certain point and I don't think maybe even if you talk to Spielberg he wouldn't say it's easy now you know I think everybody has their thing they're always trying to do better and more and um, it just is such a amazing privilege to be an artist in this industry that you just can't rest on that for a second because there are so many people it's so competitive and you just have to keep pushing but I think if you are wanting to do it your drive is just there like I'm never thinking oh can okay, okay it's more I have to tell the story I really have to tell the story I really want to show the story so I think that just has stayed alive yeah wow. you know that's that's I keep hearing that over and over from uh, acclaimed filmmakers and acclaimed artists in the industry that it's never like you've made it even yeah. and for 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 us as viewers we always feel okay they made it with their first <laughs> film you know and yeah. and yes it's a beautiful film it, it's very popular so you always assume that okay now she's made it it's probably the journey is going to be a lot easier yeah. so I think it's very um, encouraging for uh, aspiring filmmakers to hear what you just said you know just just kind of never give up also, kind of thing it's like I mean I feel like I have made it <laughs> absolutely but, but only because these artists like that I've wanted to work with my whole career now I get to you know and so then you feel like you've made it but the, the big thing is to realize like we're all one degree from each other already yeah. and I think in my mind I did the same thing like oh those people up there and I'm down here but there's a UCLA filmmaker who just came to the screening today we're at the same level he's also a director and this AFI filmmaker she's also a filmmaker so I was like we're all the same level of filmmaker you know that's just 
be a community together and that's like exciting about our industry that there is no hierarchy of I'm bigger I made it and you haven't yet we're all sort of we all made a movie so we're all filmmakers it's great you know yeah. <laughs> and I see the spirit you know I, I don't know I see the, uh, the that spirit even in the film and I see it even now there's that like the childlike enthusiasm <laughs> I see it in your eyes uh, has that ever dimmed in your journey you know has there ever been like severe times where you felt like okay I can't handle um, whatever you know the difficulties in the journey or have you always been this optimistic and strong-minded um, I don't know I think I mean I definitely had low points there was like I think I um, uh, told somebody this story already and it's like sadly in print but it was um, you know just like the two years before I made transparent I was really desperately trying to get into television and could not break in I just couldn't get in all the doors were closed I kept trying every way pushed every way I could and just couldn't get in and I finally went to go see like a, a Vedic astrologer because I was like what can I do like I I have no way of getting in and he read my chart and he basically said oh yeah no you were never gonna make it like this uh, big planet is blocking you and it's been blocking you since um, 2000 and in 2013 it'll move and I was like what like, and so I said no no I made chutney popcorn it's done really well I've done this and he sort of said yeah but nothing's helping you like that was all just sheer tenacity and will and I just thought oh okay like what you know and so it was sort of a I mean I was so desperate I thought maybe I made a big mistake maybe I should go to law school maybe I should do something else and and then 2014 I made transparent and everything changed and got better you know but it was really there were some dark years where it's just hard and you never want to tell people just keep pushing because it is an uncertain business so you just have to do what's right for you you know with your circumstances and your responsibilities I think like John Waters once told everybody he said independent filmmakers should never buy a house because once you buy a house then you have a mortgage and then you have responsibilities so I think you know it's just trying to live your life very um, responsibly so that you can pursue your art for as long as you can so that means like um, it's more of do it if it's your real passion yeah. and not for whatever other reason yeah I don't think there is any other reason because all those other ideas people have just don't exist you know yeah. Yeah. they're not real <laughs> great so um, I, I mean after that you've done so much good work yeah. what stands out in the last say five years so uh, what moments stand out just that you'd want to share with the audience oh I think so many moments in the last five years but really just um, I've just had gotten the chance to work on some of the most amazing TV shows with incredible actors and incredible comedians like really um, beautiful like everything from the Mindy Project I mean Transparent will always be dear to my heart as my first TV experience Girls, um, You Me Her, Last Man on Earth like um, a show I'm working on now called Future Man is really funny it's just just to be able to uh, delve into the world of these groups of artists that are so good at what they do and just so incredibly talented it's just such a privilege and it's been inspiring it makes you want to do more and more and more and um, I yeah sorry, oh no and I, I had the dream of uh, creating a project with Amy Poehler who is just like my sort of comedy idol and just being able to work with her and realizing oh she's on such a pedestal and she didn't fall off that pedestal she only got higher on it you know just to realize like how smart and dedicated and hard-working all these amazing women and and people in TV and film are just when people have made it it's because they work so hard like harder than you can imagine mm -hmm. and they inspired me to work harder than I ever thought I could work you know yeah and I do believe I truly believe this um, that making someone laugh is uh, is either w whether you call it God or the universe however you believe in it it's a it's a talent that is gifted from a higher power yeah. so I truly believe that because for the life of me I don't think I can make someone laugh for <laughs> wanting to make them laugh uh -huh. you know so I think that's an incredible talent to have and I love that because um, I feel laughter is the best medicine yeah. there is I mean yeah. as they say you know so it's fine I mean um, in in uh, society it's it's the best part of making society more fun and more lighthearted and everything so i think it's a beautiful talent to have and i applaud your talent applaud all your hard work and uh, thank you for sharing all of that with us and give us a couple of words about what you think about ifla this year oh my gosh ifla i mean i met christina when she was first starting ifla and i thought 
you are crazy. You're going to try to pull together a uh, historically chaotic culture <laughs> into like bringing films together in a program that is, um, you're trying to be a world-class film festival. And she really, she really did it. Like she really not just created this festival out of her sheer desire and passion, but really taught us all what um, world-class cinema is. And she's educated Indian American audiences, Indian audiences, American audiences, like everybody across on this incredible world cinema and what a rich history we have. And she just is, um, it's so special what she's achieved and what IFLA does every year is creates this community and brings everyone together and shows us what's possible and what's already being done. And it's really inspiring. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I wish I could talk to you for a longer time. It's, uh, but I know you're busy and I really, we really thank you for your time and wishing you so much of accolades in your career. Thank you for doing what you're doing and bringing her.